What's going on, everybody? How you doing? It is Coach MT, and I'm back with some more great credit value. All right, it's gonna be some good stuff right here. I'm, we're, we're diving deep, right? We're diving deep just to let you know what you have access to, okay? So we're gonna be talking about some laws here, and I just let you know I am not an attorney. I am not an attorney. This is not legal advice. I'm just letting you know what you have access to as a consumer. I'm gonna say it again. I'm not an attorney, and this is not legal advice. So I want everybody to come back saying Coach MT said, based on this law. No, I'm letting you know what's available to you. This is available to everybody. You can do a search right now of this information, 15 U.S. Code 1681G. You can do your own search and read the information yourself. I'm just letting you know what's available, okay? So, this is your first time here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you like the video. Liking the video helps with the algorithm, right? Because I wanna make sure we get this information out to as many people as possible. So when you at least like the video, it helps with the algorithm to let YouTube know, hey, this is a great video. Let's get this out to more people. Now, leaving a comment also helps. And whether you say great job, hey, foot, neck, it doesn't matter. Leaving a comment also helps the algorithm as well too because YouTube says, hey, this is a great, not only did they like it, they have a comment, let's show this out to more people because we wanna make sure we get this information into the hands of everyone, all right? So today we're gonna to talk about some of the laws you have access to when it comes to asking the consumer reporting agencies that includes early warning services that includes check systems that includes all three credit bureaus that includes sage stream and novice any consumer reporting agency when you ask them for information this law says they're supposed to disclose it because what you're looking for is what information they have on file to verify the information that they're reporting so maybe it's a collection account or charge off or bankruptcy or late payment or inquiry, or uh, if you're with EWS and check systems, negative bank account, whatever it may be, show me what you have, all right? So in the beginning, it says information on file. That means on file at the office of the, cons the consumer reporting agency, all right? Every consumer reporting agency shall upon request and subject to this, this law as well to you, you can go look that up. This title clearly and accurately discloses to the consumer all information in that consumer's file at the time of the request all right at the time of the request now there are some exceptions in here you want to you want to read through this but i'm going to scroll down a little bit okay i'm going to scroll down to this area right here of some things that they have to disclose to you the head of the agency or department making a writing finding as prescribed under what that means is the head of the agency or the department that is sharing the information with you all that you're reporting on the credit report. So let's say you're with your or, or on the consumer report. Let's say it's a collection account with XYZ Collection Company, right? So you're asking TransUnion, Equifax, Experian, send me that information. Do you have on file the head of the agency of the department making the, the, the that makes the writing and, and finding as, as prescribed? If you're on early warning service and check systems, do you have the name and the information of the head of the bank that is saying, hey, report this information? The dates, original payees, amounts of any checks upon, which is based in advertised characteristics of consumer consumed in the file at the time of the disclosure. That means everything. I want dates, um, original payees, amount of checks, any e everything. I want everything because you have to verify to me that you're allowed to report this information and you're not just grabbing it from blue sky or you weren't paid to do this, okay? Um, a record of all inquiries received by the AC during the, the year period preceding the request that identified the consumer connects with a credit or insurance transaction that was not initiated by the consumer, all right? What that means is that any inquiry on my report that was not initiated by me, and what, that, what could that be? You could be a victim of identity theft, right? Or just inquiries, period. You had too many inquiries, Hey, show, show me show me how these got on here, okay? So um, if a consumer requests credit file and not the credit score, a statement that the consumer may request and obtain the credit score, okay? Now, when it comes to credit scores, um, they don't have to provide the credit score. It's just the information that you're looking for, all right? If you want a credit score, then you have to ask them for your credit score, okay? So I just wanna kind of share that information with you. I want you to, to read through all of this, all right? This is the code right here. And this is one of the, the uh, this is the law right here. This is one of the laws that we use in our letters when we're helping our clients get removed off of any type of consumer report, whether it's the credit bureaus, 
uh, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, Early Warning Services, Check Systems, SageStream, Anovis, Factor Trust, CIC, Telecheck, doesn't matter. All consumer reporting agencies, all right, must disclose to you what they have on file to verify that they're allowed to report this information. And then there are other laws that if it's if it's a third party like a like a collection agency, oh man, there's some really, there's some some other laws out there that says that, hey, you can't do this at all, right? So just want to put your eyes on this, all right, so you can understand that you have the power. You're the consumer. You are the consumer. Let's let's click on here to see what it says. I'm gonna click on this button and let me let me raise this up a little bit. It says consumer. The tune consumer means individual. That's you. All right. So when you come in, you can click on these little words to see what they say. All right. Let's go to consumer reporting agency. What does that mean? All right. Tune consumer reporting agency means any person for which for monetary fees dues or on a co cooperative non-profit basis regularly gaze in or whole part in the practice of assembling or evaluating cons consumer credit information or other information on consumers for the purpose of furnishing consumer report to third parties and in which uses and, and which uses any means or facilities of interstate commerce blah 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 blah, blah. all right so it said what it says that the term consumer report agent means any person person all right, person for which monetary fees, dues are on a cooperative nonprofit basis. Now we know that the credit bureaus are for profit, for profit. All right, the credit bureaus are consumer reporting agencies. All right, but we know that they are for profit. Okay, so this is just this is some other stuff, man. This is good, this is good stuff. All right, so let's, let's blow this down. All right, what else can we uh, we can click on? Uh, I think. Okay, let's see what per, it says for person. Any individual partnership, corporation, trust, estate, cooperative, associate, government, government, subdivision, agency, all right? So this just lets you know um, what the term person mean when it comes to the credit bureaus, all right? So I just wanna kinda share that with you. All right, let me lower this down real quick. Let me stop all that from moving. All right, so go to this law, type it in, look it up, all right? So now, if, you, if you're having some credit troubles, you're having some, some consumer reporting agency, troubles um hit us up the link is in the description area let us help you out okay we are here we're, we're getting people's credit cleared up um you know all, of all the negative things show them how to rebuild it show them how to get funded you want to buy the house that car you just want to have financial peace of mind uh we have it here for you all right so this is coach mt make sure you click on the link in the description area let's get you together all right, let's get you together. Uh, that, that's what we put this all together for, right? So we'll see you on the next video. We'll see you on the side. Look forward to connecting with you and be talking with you soon. Hey, how you doing? This is Coach MT. I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure you click right here to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything. Click right here on this link to get your process started. We have some more great free value over here for you. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.